Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to do Kumon D156A math. In case you're having trouble like I used to, the first thing you do is on the first page is they're giving you an example. What they're trying to show you is 3, 2 times is 6, plus 1 is 7. That's how you find this answer. So if you look at the first one I'm showing you, 3, 2 times is 6. Right? And then we add those that 2 there, which would make 8. We put the 8 there. So if it was backward, if this was over there, then what would have been? It would have been an uh, improper fraction into a mixed number or an integrator. Um, so it's you're basically just doing the opposite of what you're supposed to do. So 8... So 3 goes into 8 how many times? We 3, 2 times 6, plus the remainder 2. So basically doing division, but in a little more, less shortened way. So I hope you got that first one. Let's do something in the, hmm, let's do something on this page. This page. Improper fraction or the mixed number or interrogator. So this is just the complete opposite of what we just did on the other page. So what you do here is like basically the first thing that we did over there. But over here what you do would be basically 3. We'd always go here. Because that's what we are doing. So if you like, um, to give you like, if you're like new to this, to give you little hints up. So if you had a whole lump, right? Sorry about that, but, um, so you look at 3, how many times is into 7? So if you know your timetables, this will be really easy. 3, 2, the answer that you're, di you're divide, uh, multiplying this number with would go over here. And the answer, the remainder is here, like division, except it's not on this side, but it's, the remainder goes here. The one that you are multiplying by goes here. So 3, 2 times is 6. Remainder would be 1. So the 1 would go over here. So that is just what just shows like it's an arrow. Like an arrow. So I hope you understood that. Now we can look at something else. A different page I did. This page, D151, is where you're starting. In the front, it shows you what there are. So I can give you a little um, help. So if you look over here, the one on the top, the one on the top is called the numberator. The one on the bottom is called the denominator. I learned this in grade 4, so it's pretty easy. Like, and it shows you here, the numberator less than a denominator would be called a proper fraction. This, these are like some examples. Because a proper fraction is when this number is higher and this number is lower. An improper fraction is when this number is equal or this number is too higher than the bottom number, which is the denominator. And a mixed number would be... Uh, like integrator and fraction, which would be this. This is um, a mixed number. This is a mixed number. This is improper. So these are mixed number. Um, like, these are mixed numbers. These are improper fractions. And a proper fraction, I can't find on this page. So we can go somewhere else but a proper fraction would be something like this three and this like six I don't know six that would be a proper fraction like anyways this number always has to be higher and this number always has to be lower if it's supposed to be a proper fraction so I hope you got some learning Thank you, and if you want more of these kind of videos, thanks. Bye. Oh, and subscribe.